in the waiting. It really has yeah. been part of this storm just because it's been moving so slowly. Right, and tomorrow morning will be very interesting, Michelle, because that's when we could get some of the heaviest rainfall. That's absolutely right. As we start early tomorrow morning, we're going to start to get some of the heavier rain bands pushing our way. They're getting close, but not quite here yet. And they're crossing over 73 within the next couple of hours. By about 4 a.m., we're going to notice more rain pushing into the eastern tri. But right now, you see the center of that storm is just off the coast. It's just north of the Isle of Palm area. And you're looking at those showers and those thunderstorms still really impacting folks from Wrightsville Beach area as we go into Oceans uh, or Ocean Isle and then Surf City. Debbie's impact time timeline for us looks to be early tomorrow morning, really between about 7 to 9 a.m. It's going to start to push in from the east and move to the west. So folks in Burlington, areas like Troy getting hit some, with some of the heavier rains and the winds. The strong gusts could be as high as 45 miles an hour to even 50 miles an hour in some of our forecast models now. So we'll watch for that. Midday Thursday, we're looking at the torrential rain at times, and this is going to create flash flooding. We're under a high risk for excessive rainfall across parts of the Piedmont tried through the northern Piedmont Thursday afternoon, heavy tropical rain bands and gusts to 45 miles an hour, and that's going to be ongoing through the evening hours. And this is slowed down just a little bit tonight. The system is now going to be moving through as a tropical storm getting closer to us by eight o'clock tomorrow night. All of the heavy rain moving in ahead of it. Debbie's departure, though, by Friday morning, just leftover tropical showers, a few stray storms possible as we see the system winding down through middle of the day. But breezy conditions, the showers are ending, and unfortunately, we're still going to be dealing with the river flooding, it looks like, through late Friday afternoon. We've got more clearing in 80s on the way, and it'll be breezy. So this is really a big one-day event overnight into early Friday morning. If you count that, too, if you have to travel, this is a big deal. And you're noticing we've got lots of hail with some of these storms too as those storm rain bands are wrapping and we've just got a tremendous amount of rain on the ground as well with isolated tornadoes that have been coming down and 50 to 66 mile an hour winds in the Southport Oak Island area as we go up toward the Surf City region. So that's where the worst weather now starting to wrap into Fort Bragg and notice it is getting closer to us. We'll be watching for those conditions to worsen within the next few hours. We've got that system that'll move inland gradually and move to the north northwest before taking a northerly turn toward the Piedmont Triad. Three to six inches of rainfall still on track right now. We could see a little bit more wind though as the system is slowed down and might be a little bit stronger getting closer to us. So we want to watch for that. Excessive rainfall, you can see it stretched out from Martinsville, includes Stewart all the way through Asheboro, Southern Pines, down through Fayetteville. And then by Friday, we have a slight risk. So we're out of the worst of the weather, it looks like for Friday for much of the day. You do have the rainfall totals coming up with flood watches in place and already river flood warnings along the Dan River. You've got flood concerns developing as we see those tropical rain bands really piling up from early Thursday morning. We're just getting the initial rounds, but even one or two thunderstorms early morning on Thursday could create the flash flooding situations. The heavy rain rates are what we're worried about. We wrap in more rain and then we wrap in some more rain consistently throughout the day and then some of the heavier bands going into the evening hour. So we're going to see some pretty steady showers and then you might see these rain bands lifting in with thunderstorms and then the heavier pockets of rain through the late evening into early Friday morning. Now we've got anywhere from five to six inches possible. You see those swaths here and the oranges and reds could mean that Dan Brain folks along the Dan River are in that zone and that's what we're looking at right now for you too. We've got those shower chances out there combined to create the flood concerns with three to six inches and the hazardous driving that comes along with the flood concerns overnight. We're seeing some of those showers still lingering in thunderstorms too by early Friday morning. You might not be able to see how much water is on the roadways. All right, let's talk about the winds. 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, not so bad in the 20 to 30 mile an hour range. By 7 a.m., we start to notice those winds are coming up. Now, remember, the system has slowed down a little bit for us tonight, so it is going to approach as a tropical storm. We've still got tropical storm force winds between 43 miles an hour in Ashboro at 8 a.m. to 40 in Burlington. And look as we go through middle of the day around 11 a.m. getting close to lunchtime, we may have some wind gusts as high as 52 in Moxville to 53 going through Winston-Salem. So we're going to see the upper end of those winds, mainly the eastern triad. A couple folks even through Mount Airy could get up there as well. But then by the time we get into the mountains, we're talking about 25 to 30 mile an hour wind speeds. We're also looking at isolated tornado threats. Can't rule that out. And that's mainly in the eastern triad. Our rainfall totals so far have been highest down along the South Carolina coast near Charleston. And we continue to see those rainfall totals really coming up tonight. We're anywhere from five to six inches already at our coast. 
Coast. So we'll talk more about this throughout the day tomorrow. We're going to have live reports with meteorologist Dylan Hudler and Brian Slocum in the morning. You've got Debbie impacts all the way through the day on Thursday and then Friday. Still an impact as we see river flooding, but drier for the weekend and beautiful low 80s. They're coming our way.